This is Valley Center TV on Wednesday, November 29th. This is David Ross, editor of The Roadrunner, bringing you the news from the headlines of this week's paper. The Valley Roadrunner has relaunched The Giving Tree, a longtime tradition at our paper. We want your help in bringing holiday cheer to children who may not get gifts any other way. We have posted cards on our lobby wall with the age and gender of children from needy families. Local people and service clubs will be able to pick up the cards that have a child's gender and age and return with a gift for that child. We will need all gifts returned before December 12th so we can ensure that they are delivered before Christmas. Santa Claus is coming to Bates Nut Farm. Christmas in the Valley event hours are Friday, December 8th from 3.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. and Saturday, December 9th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. It's all free. Santa is sending gifts of free t-shirts for children 2 to 12 years old. There will be a jumbo slide, pony rides, a petting zoo, and a chance to ride on the Polar Express to see Santa. The high school will have a choir and band and volunteers to help children with their games and crafts. The Valley Center Rotary will help make Christmas ornaments. The Kiwanis Club will do a craft, Ridgeview Church, and Dos Valles Club will provide games. There will also be fire trucks to ride and music to enjoy. The Optimists will sell tacos and other food. The Church of Latter-day Saints will help each child make their own gingerbread house and the Miss Valley Center pageant will do face painting. The Valley Center voice contest will happen during the event. If you or your group wants to enter the singing contest, go to Bates Nut Farm's website and sign up for instructions. Singers, this is your chance to shine and get paid if you win. First place is 200 bucks, second 100, and third place $50. Center of the Valley Daughters of the American Revolution, DAR, chapter will lay wreaths at a ceremony on December 16th, 9 a.m. at the Valley Center Cemetery. The local chapter researched and identified these local veterans and is implementing the honors locally with the assistance of the cemetery board. This is a first time ceremony for Valley Center and ceremonies to honor the veterans will be held at cemeteries simultaneously around the world. The celebration will include members from military organizations, a bagpipe player, a trumpet player, the Boy Scouts, and refreshments will follow the ceremony. Parking and seating will be limited. We advise you to arrive early. And now we're going live to the North Pole for a special announcement from a special guy. Christmas boys and girls, it's getting close to Christmas time. The Roadrunner has set up a direct line to my workshop up on the North Pole. All you little boys and girls who send me your notes, letters, and requests, I will personally send my responses to the Valley Roadrunner. You can reach me at the number, address, or email on the screen. Oh, there's a call now. Hello, Santa Claus? <laughs> Kids drown without a sound. The Optimist Club are selling smoked hams as a Christmas fundraising event. Pre-sale calls get underway in early December and the sales pickup table in front of Fat Ivers will open from December 18th to the 23rd from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. All profits go to the Youth of Valley Center. We encourage your comments for the program. Submit a suitable comment, 100 words or less, and we'll read it and your name on this next show. If you have a really great comment to make, we might invite you on the show and make it yourself. Please see and send all comments to the editor and it's on information's on the screen. Hey everyone, this is Dave at Valley Center Oil. I wanted to invite you all out to a fundraiser car wash we're having this Saturday for the Lot to Lit family. Tentatively we're washing cars from 10 to 2 and we're going to have food served from 11 to 2. High school kids are coming out to wash the cars. 
Yard Pirates Barbecue is going to be there cooking some good food. The fire department is going to be there cooking hot dogs. Jolly Jump for the kids, a band playing some music. Uh, it's going to be a good time, a, a way for the community to come together and rally and show support and show everybody that we're BC strong. I hope to see you all out there. The Valley Center Chamber of Commerce seeks nominations for the Citizen of the Year. It will be awarded to someone who made a difference in Valley Center in 2017. Nominate your proposed person, individual, couple, or family. Email your nomination to the email address shown. Include your nominee's name, phone, email address, and the reason why you are nominating him or her. Nominations are due no later than December 8th. While you're at it, be thinking about suggestions to make to the Roadrunner for our annual Newsmaker of the Year. Thus, AK celebrates the most interesting man in the world, the Nobel Committee awards the Peace Prize, football has the Heisman Trophy, and people hands out the sexiest man alive. In between, there are Academy Awards and the Pulitzer Prize. Not to be outdone, the Roadrunner invites nominations and suggestions for our annual Newsmaker of the Year award for 2017. We'll accept nominations until December 31st. The purpose is not to honor someone for good works or how highly their fellow citizens regard them, but for how much impact that person has had on Valley Center, Palma Valley, Paula, or Palomar Mountain during the past year, for good or ill. I wanted to uh, bring in uh, my co-host Joshua to do something very important, which is to interview me. It's always important, David. So I know you're quite the thespian, so would you like well, to tell us about your upcoming performance? Well, you know, if you're going to uh, be name-calling, we may have to resort to fisticuffs here. Oh, let me reword that. He's an actor. <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, um, I, I am in a production by the North County Players uh, known as It's a Wonderful Christmas Carol, and it will be playing at the California Center for the Arts. The, uh, the dates and times will be uh, listed on the, on the screen, but we're uh, opening, uh, let's see, the weekend, the weekend after next, and then we're running for two weekends, and uh, we have Friday, Saturday, Sunday shows, and uh, it's at the California Center for the Arts, which is pretty uh, prestigious, you must admit. It's probably better than what you'll be doing. Oh, no, I'll actually be playing at the California State of the Arts, too. Probably in a bigger stadium. What? What? You mean at the same time? Uh, no. Actually, it, I'll be playing at the West Coast Ballet's um, Nutcracker. You can go to San Diego um, Nutcracker.org and check it out. It's a yearly performance. Cast over 200 pyrotechnics and a real symphony. And I suppose that the... Uh we can find out the details of your show on the screen, too. Oh, absolutely. Um, I will put the um, website directly on the screen. I think we're capable of that. Yeah, we have the technology. Yeah, so if you come to the performance, it's going to be on the 16th and 17th of December, so plan ahead, and on a double basis, I'll be playing in the pit. Thank you, Joshua. My pleasure, David. The Friends of the Valley Center Library will hold their annual holiday book sale this Friday and Saturday. Most books will cost $1 or so, including collectibles. Most books in the bookstore will be on sale. The sale will be held in the seminar room of the library. The address of the library is shown on your screen. Preview sale for members only will be held on Friday, December the 1st, 3 to 5 p.m. There will be a table at the door for those who want to renew their memberships or join the friends for the first time. The sale for the public will be Saturday, December 2nd, 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. The Dos Valles Garden Club will hold its annual poinsettia wreath and plant sale and ornament swap this Saturday, December 2nd, 8 a.m. to noon at the Martin Gang Ranch at the address shown. Several beautiful locally grown varieties of poinsettias will be available. Proceeds help fund community scholarships and beautification projects in Valley Center. We just wanted to come out today and remind people of things we all know, but because we get busy and the holiday season's upon us, we forget things that we normally follow, such as making sure that our car windows are up, that our car doors are locked, that the valuables we've purchased earlier in the day are in the trunk and secure and not in plain view for, for the thieves to see and take advantage of. And we have the senior volunteers out here. We're letting everybody know about the uh, vacation home checks. The Sheriff's Department offers vacation checks in which we send out senior volunteers to check on the residents while they're away from home. 
The uh, Sheriff's Department is conducting holiday watch across the county. Uh, we have numerous details to include uh, Sky Watch, which offers us a vantage point to um, oversee and to monitor areas that are congested with holiday shoppers to ensure their safety. Uh, during this time of year, uh, deputies will be conducting uh, uh, extra patrol in those areas and uh, senior volunteers will also be out there giving us a hand as well. Okay, our goal is to keep the public informed and keep them safe so they don't become victims. During this time where people are out and about and they're shopping, there's a lot of money exchanging hands, there's a higher chance to become a victim and we want to make sure that doesn't happen. That's all for today. See you next time. And in the meantime, look for the latest news in the Valley Roadrunner and online at valleycenter.com, on Facebook, and on Twitter.